the use of ketamine uh, has a variety of implications, both from the point of view of the use of anesthesia, but also now as a point of view of looking at it from an agent that is antidepressant. And so it has both those kinds of opportunities to be applied. Uh, it has been an anesthesia since the 1970s and uh, used uh, primarily in, in children, but also um, in human, adult humans uh, for, for use, uh, and, and also in animals, okay? Uh, many of the animals that are used in veterinary setting uh, are using ketamine as the anesthetic as well. So a great amount of use. Uh, then the opportunity arose uh, more recently that uh, it seems to have some really good antidepressant activity as well. So this is where uh, it gets complicated because you have an agent that, um, you know, since recent times has been available for now use as an antidepressant. Now that is done under uh, strict uh, medical control that is usually done in a uh, supervised physician in, in, inside the hospital in, or inside the uh, office of the physician and controlled by the physician. And very small doses are used, but it is now uh, Aspirato, which is one of the uh, name brand uh, of this particular uh, anesthetic, is, is useful and they find it uh, to be a standalone antidepressant, which is really something that uh, has not been uh, done before in many, many years. Due to the fact that some very good research has been done in animal models as well as in the clinical setting, and uh, there's good data out there available to indicate that it is uh, antidepressant used in the proper way. Um, and so therefore it has good implications for its use uh, as an antidepressant and still as an anesthesia agent, anesthetic agent. But it, it also is the situation of the research being done in good clinical trials where they know that's effective and also safe if used as directed. And that's under a doctor's control. Thanks for watching SOT TV 2025. You can take a look back at all of our content by clicking the link right here. We can't wait to see you in San Diego for SOT 2026.